Okay, so here I am with Cousin Elias. Hey. And we're going to go explore some treasures. And um, we'll mark them with a GPS location. And uh, good vacation time stuff. Okay. Stuck in the house. Okay. Yeah. Get out of the house. All right. It's in my bubble. It's okay. We got masks just in case. Okay. See you soon. So here we are in our first discovery, right at the crossing of Hanson and Hanover. The bridge, this river, used to be the spot of an old foundry where they take iron, collect it right here from Hanover, and turn it into stuff. Yeah, cool. Horseshoes and nails and brackets and stuff like that. So this is the first hidden spot. Elias is going to mark it on the GPS and we'll put it up on the screen. If you don't want to see what the GPS location of this is, don't watch for the next 10 seconds. Otherwise, we'll show you what it is. So, Monarch and I are walking along a dam here. This dam is from the 1700s. So, if you're studying the Civil War, this was this was around then. Not 1700s. Sorry, not Civil War. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. So we're looking for the oldest graffiti on the trail. Let's go find it. Yeah, we'll go around this way. Psst, this way. This way. Never mind. Tomorrow. So this rock has lots of names. I call it Whale Rock. It looks like a big old whale. Monarch, you want to go load up? Monarch, go girl, go load up, load up. That's a good girl. But let's find out the, the little hidden treasure here. So it's not on this side. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around to the back side here. Where is it? Monarch, come. So here we are in the rock, and right up on top here, the oldest graffiti on the whole trail. <laughs> Carved right in the top, top here. What we got there, Elias? J. Oh, it's this way. No, it's this way. Um, it is this way. Yeah, it's J. J. H. Yeah, J. H. D. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna place a bet that it's. J-H-D-W, uh, unrecognizable at this point, and then E, 1857. 1857. So see if you can find this. Elias is going to do a selfie with a, a waypoint for here. So you might ask yourself, Elias, why isn't this space all cleared out like it was once farmland? And you'd be okay asking that question, but see there's that ridge along the top there? Yeah. The river's down here. Up until the end of the 1800s, this whole area would have been submerged in an area called Project Dale. I'll put a picture up on the screen of what Project Dale looks like. We're on the Hanson side, or the Pembroke side, depending on where we're at. We'll drop a pin here so you can see where we're at. Yeah, sure. But all this 
would have been underwater. Let's go. We'll go down there a little bit Kinda lower. Kind of looks like a dried up riverbed. And we'll, we'll 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 drop the we'll drop the location down there, and then we'll compare it on the other side and see how far underwater we would be. All right. We'll post that GPS pin in just a sec. So, Elias, do you know what that plant is there? That? I don't actually know. Well, I'm going to teach you. This is a Boy Scout lesson. So go, go over that one right there. Over this one? Yep. Come down. Kind of rip up some leaves there. I'll rip them up right at the ground level. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Break it right off like a head of lettuce. Now give it a sniff. Good or bad? Not very good. Not very good. You know what that's called? What is it? That's skunk cabbage. Is it cabbage? It's not cabbage. Ah. But it gets skunkier the more the summer goes on. So right there, these little things that grow up in the in the swamp. Skunk cabbage. So when you look around here in the forest, there's rocks everywhere. But there's rocks, there's a whole cluster of rocks here. Mm. So there's probably a fissure in the in the uh, glacier that receded from making this valley. And there was a little river coming out of that glacier, glacier and it spit all those rocks out right there. So it could be a rock dump, but I don't think it's a rock dump, rock dump here. We'll talk about rock dumps in a different video. This is uh, most likely just free radics dropped in there. Lots of little ones. So we saw the Thanks. oldest graffiti on the loop. And now here's some newer graffiti. We've got some Urban X wannabes. Not that graffiti is cool per se, but there's a lot of artwork here. It's quite something. Cousin Elias is gonna drop a drop a GPS pin for here so you can find it by GPS. We'll put that up on the screen. If you don't want to know where this is and you want to find it on your own, don't look at the screen for the next 10 seconds. Otherwise, check out where we're at. Just looks like forest. I'll show a picture up on the screen, but this was one of the largest rubber recyclers in America once upon a time. And it all started upriver. We'll drop a pin here. If you want to see where this complex is, we'll put a picture up on the screen of what it used to look like. And then also drop the GPS coordinates. If you don't want to see the GPS coordinates, stop watching for the next 10 seconds. So we're traveling along the old rail bed here, the Hanover Branch Railroad. This little section that Monarch's coming up to now, it's this Hobo Alley. It's the only spot along through here. This railroad had some hobos hanging out. And they're right here along the rocks. A little further up here. Right in this section here, they could kind of hide from the roadway, be protected, do a little fishing. But yeah, this is Hobo Alley. So we'll drop a pin here. Put the, G put the GPS coordinates up on the screen. Don't want to see those coordinates and find it on your own? Ignore the screen for the next 10 seconds.